Hey everybody, Asher here, back with more Darkest Dungeon, where we're going to be continuing about where we left off last time, where we had a fairly successful adventure, and we did get some new people in last time, and unfortunately, due to a camera, off-camera misclick where I was trying to investigate increasing the hero roster size, I did increase the number of heroes that come in from the Stagecoach Network to five, so that puts me even deeper in the deed hole than I otherwise might have been. Plus, I wanted to upgrade the blacksmith, and that is going to take some deeds, and I wanted to upgrade the guild, and that is going to take some other resources as well. So while we probably the guild's not going to be so bad, and abilities are pretty important, gear is too. So that's something to look towards as we move towards veteran missions. Because veteran missions, even with torches, are hard enough as is. Torchless, it's going to be it's going to be fun. We've had a lot of fun here so far. We've lost a few along the way, and today we may be losing just a few more here. We're going to be going to the cove again. We're going to be doing a... Oh, this is a medium mission in the cove. I don't know how I feel about taking a medium mission for these guys. I guess I, if I really do need... Uh, because that's pretty good. But if I do need deeds, I might as well go to the well this one time again. Because I want to take a bunch of uh, newbies out. I was hoping to maybe do a double a bomb video. But with Digby being where he is right now, he is about to level out so I want to make sure that this mission counts so we're gonna do kind of another lobby run today see if we can level up some people that we have here including lots of new faces these names are still available if you would like to be put on the death roster and what is this team's name witch hunters very exciting you have to have the correct order and the correct people here so we have a vestal with double healing she's better in the back although she does have mace bash in the front so she's not completely useless do have a Plague Doctor here. I am going to get rid of Emboldening Vapors for now and put Incision in there. Blinding Gas I'm going to try. I think it's different from how I remember it early in the uh, Alpha where uh, pretty much it was just a, another Blight ability instead of a stun. So we'll see if that two-person stun helps. Uh, we do have uh, Buzz Noise or Buzz Noir. Uh, I like saying Buzz Noise though, but that's not the correct pronunciation. I kind of do want to put Wicked Slice on him since I don't plan on him being in the front row ever. Uh, let me click that off. Put that here. Uh, because point blank shot while exciting, uh, I don't. I typically don't want to see him in the front. And then we have uh, Gizcard, who is uh, our good old fashioned uh, Hellion. The one that didn't go crazy from last time. So we're going to go the weld. We're going to see if we can start making up for the deeds that I failed before. And we're going to see if I can hold up to my knowledge of finally looking up the uh, provisions that are necessary for this place. So we're going to take, I think, 12 foods all I might need. So we'll do that. We'll take a few shovels. And then let me just make sure here for the uh, provisions here. And, of course, just want to make sure medicinal herbs are good, bandages are good. And you can't always predict what you'll find, but and we'll take some anti-venom as well and take a little bit of holy water, I guess. I mean, we have shovels. Let's take a third shovel because it's the weld. And yeah, there we go. We'll take one key just for luck. And otherwise, we're at 12,000. So if we succeed on this mission, we could have a pretty sizable profit. We actually don't need that much. I think two, three, two, two, and one and one is all pretty good. So, off to get more deeds, because I screwed it up. Fun! Let's go. Corruption has soaked the soil, sapping all good life from these groves. Let us burn out this evil. Now, of course, like any good Warren or Weld map, we're going to have a bend here where we get to pick and choose which way we go. That could have been better course to bring more food. But I do got to remember as well is that I did not bring any items that was intentional. This is what I would call kind of a disposable run. If our people can make it, great. We already have a uh, tree hole right here. And then we just walk past enough to actually investigate it. There we go. So tree hole, maybe. I thought I could click it. There we go. So old tree. And you do get stress if you keep moving backwards too much. If we use the anti-venom, we can do a particular search. And that's where we're getting to some of these. Uh, it's it's kind of, I kind of had the same relationship with FTL. 
once you play enough and you've kind of seen everything and there's not like super too many surprises I think it's a little more justifiable if you start looking at the guides to do things to try and ensure your survival so let's see here we can do judgment from the back wow all right and that actually doesn't increase our torch either so pretty good by the way these guys started 20 stress because they're level zero yeah. Oh, wow. Two fights in one hallway. Must have been because I tracked backwards. All right. We have our fungal scratcher. And we got our other goodie here. I don't want to really try blinding gas. And these guys are fairly bleed resistant. One more cadaver for the cart. Pretty nice. Could use Grape Shot Blast, but it always has a terrible pension for missing. And I kind of want to hit in the back. That's good. Uh, and let's see here. Let's judge her. Let's not judge her. And what do we got? We don't have Breakthrough. We have Yelp, though. Could be worthwhile if we can get a stun. There we go. So we do have a party that can actually stun everybody right now. Barbaric Yelp on the front. Something in the back. There's a joke there, but... We're going to see if we can end this fight this turn. Alright, so play Grenade. This should hit. I guess the question is, do we resist the blight? No, we don't, so you're dead. We can slice over here. I'm clicking because I have some hotkey anxiety. Alright. And we can go ahead and actually... You have four health, so we should go for the kill here. And we actually don't need too much healing yet, so we'll judge again. Once again, a little nice to get some heal, some stress heal. And good dodge there. So overall, good fight so far. Just got to close out. And could have gone for the gunshot there. But once again, it's nice to have a melee attack from the third row like that. So incision's not super strong. But if we can stack some bleeds, that should be enough. And let's go for the party heal just because if it crits, we get some... Uh, Stress relief. There we go. All right. As they say, money. Lots of it. All right, so we got nothing in here. Keep in mind that it is 100% of room battles. So we got a second anti-venom that we can try and use here. For even more treasure. I could use portraits. And wow, really... I'm glad I took three shovels. As this place is not being very kind. So no room battle here. I guess we'll... Maybe if we can get a double good scout. Yes, we do. Alright, so we officially have to go both ways. And we have at least five fights. And no camping. This is why I guess we call it a newbie mission, right? As long as we don't have to deal with hunger. Alright. So the bleed on incision is not very strong. Not usually the best idea to do that there, but getting one kill and then softening up the other two is pretty nice. So resist on the blight. See if we can stop the attack. Good job, Gizcard. And just judge again. I'm liking judgment. Heal and then you get your uh, crit bonus as well. So we have another tree. We don't have any more anti-venom, so I'm going to skip it. And we got a goodie bag. And it just has a little bit of money, so that's fine. So no fight here. Two fights to go. It looks like we're going to need our third shovel right now. Wow. Okay. So no breaking into, like, boxes or digging into other stuff. So looted pack. Nothing you can do for that one. Fight here, more Spideys. And we're just going to do kind of the same thing we did last time, I guess. Will it actually work? Yes! Almost the same damage apportionment. Wow. Critical heal, so that'll be a little more stress heal on you. I like it. Probably going to get blighted because it's about time. And because we just ended the fight there, I don't think... I don't even know if he has the ability 
Yeah, I didn't actually give him the ability that uh, lets him cure his own blight. So we'll just have to deal with it. Little chest doesn't really need anything. So skin burns. This is where we do blinding gas. See if we can get a stun. Good. Because this guy's stun resistant, so we want to deal with him pretty early. But this guy, the Fusilier, is always the worst. Especially when he dodges everything. All right. So we're not going to yelp here. We're just going to go for the bleed. We're going to deal with this guy last. So this is going to be our first, uh, I guess you call it bad fight, since we our Hellion just took 14 damage, and suddenly point blank shot looks like a really good thing. All right. So these guys are now resisting stuns. I guess we'll blight them. Maybe. Okay, we could we could slice here, but I kind of want to put you back one. I hate that this guy's going to get a shot off though. Oh, that's a nasty one too. All right. Let's see if we can kill you. Good. You'll leave your corpse, but that's okay. Looks like we're going to need some good healing finally. All right. So got to be single target heal first. So this is a pretty difficult fight. Okay, good. You need to hit this. Good. All right, so let's uh, 12, 24, 16, 24. Single target again. Just gotta hope this guy doesn't hit hard. And let's see here, he doesn't have a lot of bleed resist. We don't need to worry about disorienting anybody. So, try and stack that bleed damage, which actually are, uh, okay, this could be bad. Oh, good, it wasn't that bad. And you're bleeding quite a bit. Okay. Probably worth it to manage that. See, it gets exciting when, uh, four damage per three round... Let's see if we can just go for that. Well, 50% stun resist. I don't like my odds there. But I do like a guaranteed death. So if I can get the Vestal to actually do something here. Oh, tracking shot. Okay, well, we're going to... Uh... Hopefully we can get the Vestal to heal first. There we go. Probably just going to opt for a single target heal again. And we'll hope for one of the other hallway fights to be pretty easy. So lots of treasure. This little chest, I'm pretty sure there's nothing to do with it or about it. It's just a tiny, tiny chest. I think that's all it is. So let's just open it. Unlock strong box, which is not trapped apparently. All right. I guess if it's trapped, you can't do this. So we got two fights, two traps. If we get hungry again, we can eat and heal a little bit. That curio is nothing I can really do a lot about. But see, it's fun going without torches. You get all the uh, grand excitement, especially with a team like this that has pretty much no experience. Not completely sending them to their deaths. I'm just sending them to prove their worth. That sounds about right. So there's a room battle with curio and room battle. Maybe I should have gone to the Curio first. Hey, look at this! We do not want to touch that, because that will actually summon a uh, what I fought two videos ago with the Green Squad, so we're going to leave that. I, can't, I don't have a shovel for that. Oh, almost got myself ran into a trap as well, so got a little too excited there. Now, if you want me to fight another Shambler with a newbie team and lose everybody, I guess that is a valid strategy, but... Somehow we surprise them in the dark. I will accept that. Kill these guys first. So we'll play grenade the back. They don't have much blight resistance. That's a pretty nice dot, so you're dead. We gotta go. Let's do a party heal. That was a waste. 
so your bleed resist is also pretty pretty low so they're both dead right away which means I can probably yelp here except that it could be a worse battle for me next time all right we know who we need to heal giz card please don't die Hackney hack, there we go. That's how we heal. Very good. And then let's see if we can. I don't know. We we may not have enough bleed damage from the die this turn, so that stinks a little bit. But I think we are right not to yelp. Unfortunately, I don't have anybody in the opposing uh, battle who can mark. So we'll uh, carry on here. See if we can roll a little more bleed damage. And let's just go for the kill. That may be enough. It is not enough. So the choice here is between healing and outright ending the fight. I guess we'll just do the self heal attack that ends the fight. Nice. And we get a jester item and some deeds. Pretty cool. But we're not done yet. We've got one more battle and maybe some curios that we can actually do. Probably going to get enough. Really? I could have fought two shamblers this dungeon. So not curios that I could do. Yet. And I just ran into a trap anyway because I'm an idiot. And that was just a stress trap. The second time there. Alright, since we know this is the end, let's eat our daily bread. One, two, probably okay there. Give you one. If I get a food check, okay, you're full. So let's see, if I get a food check right now, that'll be the ultimate troll. Okay, so we got another thing that we can't open without a shovel. That's exciting. Or no, it's an aged coffin. We'll get there in a minute. We gotta kill these guys first. And this fight, as you may be aware, is always pretty interesting because these guys can reproduce and reproduce in a freaking hurry. So we're going to try and maximize our damage. They are pretty bleed resistant as far as I know. So I don't always know if clearing the corpse helps, but the stun is nice. Good. So if they're stunned, they're not going to be... Wow, that's a really significant stun resist increase. Because if they're stunned, they're not going to be able to reproduce, and so you're dead now. Alright, so we have one thing left, which is an ancient coffin, which can give uh, good benefits. We're going to have a Giz card search it. So, nothing. According to the guide that I'm looking at here, just to make sure, there is a... Uh, what is it? one in three chance of nothing happening when you dig into it but there's nothing you can cleanse otherwise so if I had brought some more shovels I could have opened something else if I had brought some torches I could have avoided fights with uh, shamblers but overall I'd say this what met this dungeon was an unqualified success course the issue is how many deeds did we get and can we get more we got some portraits we got some crests we got some deeds we got eight I still think increasing my roster to 25 is a good idea and we did get some experience but not enough to over level these people so curious I can live with that uh, hagomania that means he's probably gonna run off at some point tippler well join the club and slugger not what I need for you. Well, Tia Munsell doing good with money that's not hers by uh, buying around for the house. Did you relieve your stress? Sure, okay. Uh, meditation would be a perfect fit. He's now a meditator. I almost thought that said mediator. And Bo bums back from a drunken bender and still, still kind of crazy. So, let's see here. 
And you will only drink, so we are going to actually put you back in the tavern, assuming the caretaker isn't there. He is there, so let's see here. You're a tippler too. We're not going to send everybody to the bar all at once. Yeah, I'd say it was a very successful mission, especially considering that it was a lot of lobies, some fairly difficult fights, and we only have one town's, one person from that battle that really needed the help here. So here's where things get a little derpy. I have five people coming in here. I really want a second occultist, and I only have space for one, and because I did not upgrade the correct thing I cannot increase my roster size to 25 which is the maximum Ugh. like I said a second occultist is fairly important just because of a team that I'm trying to think about here with uh, pretty much if you take a double abomination and an occultist there's a lot you can do but I don't have too many people that I necessarily want to get rid of right now we'll go ahead and take a uh, the bounty hunter whose name is spoken for. I guess we'll have to save up some more deeds from another mission, which, like I said, it's disappointing that I did this, but I guess that means that we now have a bounty hunter. Yay! We have a bunch of people who are level one except for Vox, but I kind of, like I said, I kind of want to try something. We'll see if it works. Occultists do come around, though. So congratulations. There's one viewer who's been waiting for a bounty hunter. It took about ten game weeks, and it finally happened. So, this is Asher. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. If you want to have your name added on the death roster, there are still seats available for this fun wild ride. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time.